Yay. Okay. Um, I'm sitting on a bowl scooter. I feel like we're going to do some seated stuff. So make yourself very comfortable. Sit however you like. Varasana, an option, but you know, not for everyone. So sit how you like. And then let's do a little bit of this. <laughs> If you're sitting on a height and you can wiggle, just feel your seat beneath you and okay, there it is. It's the right side and left side. And now we want to anchor down and lengthen tall. Good. Next thing, let's take our arms, reach up and just give yourself a nice big stretch, wiggling your fingers. I'm going to lean back a little bit. Ah, yes. And then inhale, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, open these arms out behind you. And one more time, we'll just bring them up just to wake up. Good, a little side to side. Let's do that. Just opening the side ribs. And reach up nice and tall. Take the arms all the way down. Bring your hands to rest. Give your thighs a little love. Oh, welcome, Liz. Welcome, Liz. <laughs> And then turn your palms up for a moment. Let's circle the um, index finger and the thumb so that the pad of the thumb is resting on the nail of the index. And roll your shoulders a couple times just so they find their place of, of being supported. You're not dropping, you're not lifting, you're just in that place where the rib cage is. See, hey, I'm here to support you. And then dropping into that idea of your body is here to support you and we come to the mat to learn how to support the body and we take this seat of you know teacher and student we're all students in these aging bodies that are ever changing and how lucky are we that we get to do this? And feel as your next inhale, imagine that breath is just coming through this little hole you've created. And as you exhale, we can open that up and bring the palms together in front of the heart, bow your chin. Just take a nice big full breath all the way to the top. Take in more air. Exhale. Okay, we're going to do it again a little differently. Inhale to the top. Now smile and take in more air. Exhale. Inhale fully right to the top. Now frown and take in more air. And exhale. And with your smiling face, we'll chant OM together three times. Inhale. Oh. Staying in your seated posture for a few moments of silent meditation. You can release your hands or keep them as they are.
your hands or at your heart, gently releasing them to your thighs. And let your eyes just slowly open, just halfway. And we're just going to roll the torso from here. So take it back or whatever works. And just start to feel yourself rolling from one sit bone to the other. And as you're rolling the sit bones, you're rolling on the pelvic floor, feel all that contact. And moving your awareness up to the ribs, just feel them. And the shoulders, just coming in, they're just doing what they do. Reverse, so continue this circling the opposite direction. You could be going really, really slowly. And feeling the breath, and the inhale and the exhale, this revolutionary thing we're doing. And we'll go one time in each direction. And then come back to the center and lengthening tall. Feel the rib cage is just coming up to, to support these shoulders. Maybe the belly's coming in a little bit. And... Good. Okay, so we're going to come into twist. Inhale. And as you exhale, turn to the right. And once your hands are planted, we'll floss a little bit. So you're just going to turn the chest, the head, the eyes, forward and back. And then we'll settle into this right side and feel the right shoulder open. Maybe the, for me, I need to take the heart back a little bit. It's almost like a little bit of a lean back. And then just take your mind into your sit bones. And are you more on the left side than the right side? And are you able to balance it or maybe not? One more breath. And exhale and release. Come back to this sitting. Do what you need to do with your legs, my friends. And yeah, go ahead. Change the cross, stretch and row, whatever you need to do. And then we'll go to the left side. So just coming into your twist, turning, and then flossing. Moving, awakening. It's Sunday. Sunday. Tomorrow will be Monday. <laughs> okay, come into this twist. And you just feel can you open the left shoulder a little bit? For me again, I'm just moving the heart back, dropping the jaw. Mm -hmm. And now guide your awareness to the sit bones and what's happening. Just notice. Can you balance or is it need to be in balance? Both are right. No right, no wrong. Just what is. And a big inhale as you are. And exhale and come back and again just be in the pause and the unwinding and then twisting. Okay, I'm gonna keep my legs. Again, you do what you need to do, and we're gonna revolutionize our neck a little bit. So hands wherever they are and just start by dropping your chin to your chest see if you can lift the heart up towards the chin you're going to feel the shoulders come, come into play a little bit maybe more relaxed Good. and then sweeping your head over to the right and if it's okay for your neck to go all the way around and do that and if it's not okay you just do less Good. and then close your eyes drop your jaw and listen. Bring in your breath. If you have a lot of snap, crackle, pop happening, and again, it's, oh, I'm so happy I'm doing this. There's nothing to do but this. Okay, I'm going to go one more time around in this direction, and the next time the chin comes down to the chest, move to the opposite way. And then Feeling, oh, do I have some tightness? Is it 
just in the neck? Do I feel it in the shoulder, the jaw, wherever it is? And then adding the breath in, so the full inhale, you feel it, full exhale. <laughs> One more full revolution here, and then go one time in each direction. And you let the chin drop towards the chest. If you can lift your heart, even just letting the head drop. Okay, so we're gonna do figure eights. So it's a bit of thinking. Mm -hmm. So your chin is down. You're gonna, let's start going to the left side. So roll over to the left. And once the head comes back, you're just going to drop the chin back down to the, so once the head comes to neutral, bring the chin down and then do this little half circle on the other side. And once the head comes to a place, just bring the chin down and do the other side. So it's like a, a really small, a much smaller circle happening on each side. And you're thinking about what you're doing, not about anything else. <laughs> It. And the next time your chin comes down, find a way to reverse it and that you're going to just figure that out. Notice if you're tensing your hands, your jaw. And let's do, uh, we started with the left, so end with the circling on the right side and then let the chin drop, lift your heart. And then lift your head. Good. Okay. So just shake the hands just to get things going. We're going to roll the shoulders a little bit. Yes. So again, do what you need to do with your legs. And then you start to roll the shoulders. And as, as we're sitting, you know, lift yourself up nice and tall. Let the hands do what they need to do. Listen to all that snap, crackle, pop that may or may not be there. Good. Oh, yeah. Roll them. Soft jaw. And then it's on blaze, we'll reverse. Sometimes the reverse requires a little bit more thinking on what's happening. Opening the space between the shoulder blades. You know, this is where your wings live. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe one time in each direction. Good. Okay. And then we'll rest for a moment. Feel, okay, we're gonna go side to side. I'm keeping my legs in the air. Do what you need to do. Take the right hand down, I'm gonna sweep around. We're gonna revolutionize this. So we've opened up the shoulder. You need to bend your elbow and sweep across the sky. And do what you need to do. Feel the chest is turning and the breath is breathing. And, mm. Bring it on. Let everything be a part of this. Turning of the chest. The head might be moving. Good. Okay, one more time. And then at some place, we reverse, and it's a scooping. And you see, oh, this feels a little different. How can I embody this? So, letting everything be a part of it. Embracing with joy. Good. Oh, okay, next time this left hand comes over, find the right and move into your twist again. Okay, inhale. Keep the left hand where it is. Just release the right hand. And when you sweep the right arm up and take this awkward bend over, so you're just holding onto your knee or whatever, and let, ah, oh, just open, breathe. Can you get longer? Can you drop the left shoulder? Hey, which sit bones are you sitting on? Right or wrong answer. Good, oh, come on out, pause. Feel that expansive breath. Okay, second side, we'll inhale. And then exhale, move into your twist. Is that how I started? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, see. thank you. Oh, see, that's it. It takes a village. Reach over. Good. Okay, and then we'll start to roll it. 
It was going in any direction. There we go. Let it be. Whichever way you're going, feel what's there. Moving with your breath. Your joyful spirit. Okay, some place here will reverse. Paint lines a little differently. Okay, one more time, and then we'll do one time in each direction. Okay, now we'll move into twist. There we go. Oh, okay, find your twist. Whatever's happening, feel it. A nice big inhale. And as you exhale, keep the right hand where it is. Sweep the left arm over. Oh, I take it. I'm just going to grab that, use it to anchor and open. Feel everything that's here. It's <clears throat> pretzely twist. Okay, now release. Stretch your legs out. Move your little toes and all that good stuff. Hello. Good. Okay, let's do a quick little footy. We'll bring that. <laughs> you just said, oh, nice. <laughs> okay, whatever foot. I started with my left. It doesn't matter. Just, hello, soul. Move your toes around. The spaces in between the toes. The heel, the arch, just hello to everything, outer edge of foot, top of foot. That's it. Okay, let's twist this whole foot, give it a nice twist. Okay, and then we'll take the opposite hand, weave the fingers in between these toes. And, oh, friends, right? Like this. If you haven't done this for a while, I know uh, maybe it, maybe it's just me. <laughs> the toes get uh, more compacted. They're like, we love each other. We just mm -hmm. want to be together. And no, we need some space. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. I'm also really, you know, I'm stretching the hand and really being in that space. That's what we want. Good. Okay. And then release, take a moment, look at your feet, move them around, wiggle your toes, and then we'll bring the other foot in, whichever, wherever it goes. Okay, and we'll start with a love you. I say, I just popped in my head, made me laugh. A full body massage for your foot. Get all your toes, balls of the feet, the arch, heel, center of the foot. Super important places, the outer edge of the foot. Okay, and then we'll give that whole foot a really good little twist. We'll leave the fingers in between the toes and we'll be ready and pulling the toes up and getting as much in there as possible today. Who cares about tomorrow? Or yesterday, this is right now. Moving the foot, the ankle, anything that you're looking at your foot. Oh, beautiful little foot. Been through so much together. Great. And then take your fingers out, stretch your foot out, look at it. Love it. All right. Okay, we're going to come up. We're sitting on something, and I'm going to practice this. Coming up might might fall. Who knows? You come up whatever you need. Yes, go for it. Whatever's there. Oh. oh. Right? Did, it, did you get up? Okay. I, I used my hand. <laughs> all right. Irrelevant. It's all good. We're just practicing. Okay, let's take your um, blanket. And we're going to put it down 
We're going to start with knees and smooth it out. Good. So we're just going to come back to this idea of revolutionizing our whole selves. And so we're going to come into the cat cow or tabletop position. Spread your fingers. I have my toes tucked under. Take a moment here, friends. And now we change the angle. We're gonna we're gonna move the shoulders. We're gonna roll the shoulders. You let the heart drop and then roll your shoulders. Now let your body move here. Just exploring this. Everything is happening and reverse. Good shoulder flossing. Good. Okay, one time in each direction, whatever pace you're going. Good. Okay, now I'm going to start and come back to hands and knees. Bring your arms towards each other and start to just wag your puppy tail. So you're just going to move your hips side to side. And the rest of you might be moving as well, but let's start with this. So just feel this. A little bit of just wagging your puppy tail. And then we'll take that tail over to one side and turn your head to the same side and then say your side and look at it. Okay, now take your opposite shoulder and pull it forward. Good. And then bring yourself back. And just do the little wag your tail before we go to the second side. I'm feeling your knees moving. Good. And then shift your hips over to the second side and turn to look at it. And then the opposite shoulder pulls forward. Good. Okay, come back to just wagging the tail. Now we're going to start our cat cow there. So you tuck the tail and you're going to lift it up. And just feel this. And whatever else is happening, it's happening. Just moving this tail in. And we'll move into cat cow from here. So the next time your tail tucks, let the spine roll, the head drop. And then lift the tail up and roll. Shoulders move, head move. And do your best. Feel it. Uh, these movements are. Coming from the tailbone, and everything else is just getting right. Let's do one more, and then we'll give our wrist a little break, and we'll move into child's pose. So, whatever feels good, you have your bolster, you have all your props, put you know, whatever you need. I just kind of wave behind me if you need to put a bolster between your hips and your heels, or a bolster under your chest, or something under your head. Move into your child's pose. And we've done all this nice shoulder warm up. So we're going to bring the palms together and take the hands up and over the head. So the thumbs are resting on the back of your neck. And then you might walk your elbows forward. See if there's room to get a little bit more juicy there. Breathing here. Feeling what is, if this is a place of discomfort, just welcome in. Oh, thank you, body, for letting me know. <laughs> okay, one more breath. Let's release the hands back and find your way back up to your hands and knees. We'll make a longer tabletop. I'm going to put the tops of the feet down this time and we'll roll the whole barrel. Roll out, here we go. <laughs> we'll have a barrel of fun. Good. Just rolling that. Let the shoulders move, the belly move, everything. Feel the rocking on your knees. Move. Good. Reverse. Roll yourself in the opposite way. All right. Be very present. You embody this. And one time in each direction. Good. Okay. And then come to center. We're going to go forward and back. And if you're like, well, I need a moment, then just drop into child's pose. And otherwise, you're just going to go forward and back. And if you're able to come all the way into maybe a, you know, a little bit of a cobra, go there and ends up being almost a child's pose, whatever it is. Breathe yourself. Ah, breathe yourself. Oh, I love that. 
Self, I am breathing it. Good. That's it. Just whatever you're doing is exactly right. So you need to do this. Good. Okay. I'm going to come all the way into your tummy. Lower yourself all the way down. Okay, let's just take a moment of rest. You can move your wrists if they need a little, little bit of movement. Do that. And then let yourself like, like you're lying in your Shavasana. Just take this moment to really uh, let it all rest. Feel your breath. Let it even feel your heart beating. Okay, take a nice big breath in. Take in more air. Let it go. Okay. Um, let's come up to just uh, actually we're not going to come up. Just take your hands underneath your shoulders, and then let's extend the legs. Get your legs a little longer. And put the tops of the feet down. We'll do a baby cobra. Ooh, that's fun. I've been doing that for a while. So feel that the blanket is, is uh, supporting you. I have it at the tops of the hips now, so the thighs are resting on there. Just telling you it's not a requirement. And then start to just lift the shoulders up, just the shoulders. Take them up as high as they can and take them down the back. And then draw your belly in. Take your hands off the floor. Now start to lift whatever you're going to lift. Pull the chin in, though. Don't let the chin do the lifting. Pull the chin in. Maybe the legs come off. Just anchor yourself so the elbows are into the body now. Oh, I'm so strong here. Whatever you're doing is, is the right thing. Come up wherever you are. One more breath. And then slowly lower down. Pause for a full breath in. A full breath out. Anchor your feet from spreading the toes. Imagining all 10 toenails are anchored to the floor. And lift your shoulders up. Take them down your back. Press into your hands and come up. And wherever you come up, think of it as a cobra. The heart is lifted. The heart is coming up. And you might come all the way and you might not. And you're just here. And breathe. Ah, give glory. Again, I'm going to pull the chin in. I pull the chin in. And it might look like I'm lifting the head, but I have my chin drawing in the whole time. One more breath. And then, oh, lay yourself down. Good, pause for a breath in, a breath out. Okay, from here, friends, we're gonna bend the knees. Walk your knees apart, and then windshield wipers. So move the feet side to side, and you're rolling. Thighs are getting a little massaging. Good, and then we'll find our egg beater here. And so you have to think about it, revolutionize. Revolutionary, evolve. Good. And then reverse this and roll them in the other way. Other direction. Yes. Good. Okay. Now just bring the, keep the knees wide, bring the feet together. Maybe the feet can you know, give each other a little, little rub. Okay, so from here we're going to come into that twist where we take one leg over and then come back. We're going to take the arms out to, let's say if this is a clock, I'd be like at 10 and 2. 10 and 2. Okay, let's stretch the left leg out. I'm going to tuck the toes under. And we'll lift the right thigh up and just take it over and just reach. And you can look over at your left hand. Maybe you spread the toes of the right foot. You can roll right onto your left side. The left leg can turn. Okay, and then bring it on back. Adjust what needs to be adjusted. You can feel that for a moment. And then the right leg is going to plant itself to the floor. Bend your left knee. Roll that left leg over to the right side. And you can look at your right hand if that works. And roll, let the leg that's on the floor, it has to move. So it has to roll over onto the outer edge. Spread the toes of the left foot if you can. And then bring it on back. 
And we'll pause here. Good. And then roll onto the left side. The right leg lifts. And just move gently side to side. And you go as slow as you like. As much as you need. You're giving yourself a little adjustment here. Opening up. Rolling on the floor. You know, rolling on the floor is so great for our nervous system. So grounding and reminding that we're supported. Okay, I'm going to end with the left leg going over to the right side. And then we'll come back and bring your hands in and just uh, rest it out. So I've turned the big toes in towards each other. The heels are out. And breathe here. Big breath in, breathe it out. Okay, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders or beside your chest, anything that they're like as if we're setting up for baby cobra, but we're not. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna grab hold of the feet if it's there. So if it's not there, let's do it in steps. Bend your knees, flex your feet. Just stay like that, even if you can grab your feet and then soften your belly, hips to the floor. Now lift the shoulders and roll them up and back like you're doing baby cobra. Pull your chin in. Now reach back with your hands. And if you can't reach your feet, you just find it here. Otherwise, grab your feet, the tops of the feet, the ankles, and press in and just find your little, your little, I don't remember this pose, but here it is. Oh, yeah. And then come all the way down and release. Rest your head, whatever you did, say, wow. That's a great thing, right? When we're 98, we want to be able to do that. <laughs> and impress all of our great, great friends and children. Bend your knees, separate the knees, and come to your windshield wiper here. Just roll side to side. Great, okay. I'm gonna roll up and back to your child's pose. So I'll keep the knees bent. Feet are touching, hands come into position, but roll the shoulders back. Come up through your baby cobra and your full cobra. And then roll yourself over. I'm going to bring the knees together this time. And, you know, have the bolster right here. If you have your bolster or something or a blanket, you might even just put it in, you know, this, you know, this one. And then just oh, release the back. And you might not get all the way down. It's all good. You know, whatever you're doing. Exactly. And breathe and you soften the glutes or the hips, even think of them softening. Let your head go. Great. Okay. So this is what we're going to do next. We're going to come into, stay as you are. It's going to tell you the agenda of the day. We're going to come into a downward dog and we'll lift each leg up. And if you're not practicing downward dog for whatever reason, after that, we're going to come flat on our back. So you can go ahead and do that if you wish. Otherwise, here we go. Plant the hands. Bring yourself into your DFD, your downward facing dog. Just use this to stretch out the backs of the legs and feel like you can lengthen your spine. I'm just rolling those shoulders away from the ears and down. We'll tuck the chin and press the thighs back. Oh, maybe you want to walk your legs, move your tail, whatever it is, bring it in. Okay. And then we'll bring the big toes to center so they're there to balance and lift one leg up and just stretch it out. Maybe you want to bend the knee and lift the knee up. And just open. Good. And then switching sides. Leg up and just stretch. Good. And maybe you want to bend the knee, open it up. Mm hmm. Good. Come back to your downward facing dog and 
I did say we're going to lie down, but we're here. Walk your hands back. Let's take a forward fold. And once the hands come back, separate your feet a little bit if you like. And just drop in and whatever works here. If you need to move, so be it. Lift and lower. Good. Bend the knees, straighten whichever one. This idea of hanging off the hips. Like when monkey bars are there, you know, you're just hanging off the monkey bars. And you can invoke that feeling if you were one of those kids. Good. Okay, I'm going to lower down to squat as we come down, just for, you know, a little squatting is great. I'll just take a moment. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to set up, um, have your bolster handy. Let's have the blocks handy. And, well, I'm going to bring a strap to, you know, I don't know if we're going to use it, but this happens. Okay. And then we'll bring ourselves to lie down. Um, thinking maybe I'm going to turn this. But if you are already down and you have it, it's all fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay, good. Oh. All right, once you're down, open your arms. Legs can be straight, or if we bend them and bring the knees together and just feel, feel the whole half receive. Feeling your breath. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. I'm just going to take a little windshield wiper. It's almost that same twisting action. Just roll yourself and rolling on the floor. It's like a nervous system reset. Good. And then we'll come to center and stretch your legs out. Or you might keep them bent. We're going to hug one knee in. So if you prefer to have one foot on the floor, you stay there. Okay, as I come to lie down, I'm like, oh, maybe I need something for the head. So that's already doing that. Maybe you're already doing that. Good. Okay. All right, here we go. So straight. if your legs are straight and you're flexed through the feet, we're going to do hip walking first. I'm going to push the left leg away and then the right leg and feel the hips are moving. Good. Good little back awakening. Just rolling one leg away, the other, and the hips are hopefully moving. If they're not moving, that's good, good to know. Okay, come to center, bring the right knee in, interlace your fingers, give it a nice hug in, and then press out through the left leg. Good. And then as you exhale, stretch the right leg out, take your arms overhead. Inhale, bring the left knee in. Opposite, interlace your fingers, hug it in. Be here for a moment, stretching through the right side. And then we're just going to go side to side. I'm going to move with the breath. Inhale to open and exhale to close. And you go with whatever, you know, whatever feels good. Maybe you want to go really slow. Maybe you want to hang out on each side. This is good medicine. Okay, I'm going to speed it up from, I'm just going to speed it up. So it's going to be this. Bringing in that noisy breath, that works. Okay, I'm going to do just maybe a few more. And then the next time the right knee comes in about now, I'm going to just hug it in, be here. Good. And we got to do exhale and peel your head and your shoulders off the floor and hug it in. Let's drop the shoulders. Okay, and then release yourself back down. Take your arms over, be here and stretch. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs. Add a little hip walk. And inhale, lengthen in two directions. And as you exhale, left knee comes in. And then hug it in. Good. And preparing for lift off if you're going there. So inhale, exhale, draw the belly in, peel the head, the neck off the floor, hug it in. And Lower yourself all the way down. Stretch your arms over. Stretch your legs. Find a hip walk. 
so good, so good, so good. Good. Okay. Let's take the arms all the way down by your sides. Bend your knees one at a time. Place your feet on the earth. And if they end up on your blanket, okay. We're going to lift and lower the hips in little bridge. Walk your feet apart a little bit or bring them in. You know, see what, find a comfortable distance. I'm going to bend the knee, bend the, these are not knees. Bend your forearms and feel the shoulders anchor back. You might even lift the cart and then put it back in. So you feel the shoulders are on the floor. Your head is there. Relax. Inhale. And as you exhale, peel like we did with cat cow. So the tail's lifting and rolling the spine and maybe you come up to the shoulders and maybe not. Pause wherever you are. Feel your feet. I'm going to lift the toes up off the floor. Give the feet a little moment. And then exhale lower. Feel like it's a top to the bottom. Come all the way down. Let your arms come to rest down by your sides. And we're going to do just, you know, up and down at whatever pace feels good. And I'm going to take the arms overhead. You do what feels what's right. So come here. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to lift off. Find your lift. And just moving at your own pace. Just lifting and lowering at your own pace. Going as high as you go today, it's all good. You're doing it. That's it. Let's do one more. And this time when you come down, take a moment to just feel and rest and you can stretch your legs out or keep them as they are. Okay. Bring your knees into your chest, hug them in. Let's rock a little side to side. Okay, we're going to come to lay over the blocks under the heart space. Let me see. So we're going to come up. I'm going to rock and roll. If you want to just roll to the side, and it's not just, I shouldn't say just. Whatever you choose to do to come up, be good. So rock and roll. Give me one more. Good. Okay. All right. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, so we don't need the, a blanket under your head. You're going to use your strap. Oh, you might want a blanket. It, it, you know, it's up to you. We're going to have, I'm going to put one block under the head and one block under the shoulder blades. And if you lay the higher height, you know, this can be, the block for the head can be any height. Also double up the blocks underneath here. Oh, you know what? Here's another way to set it up. Is if you need, you could use this bolster and the blanket for your head and then have double blocks for underneath your chest if you prefer more um, stability. Because as I put my little block here, I'm like, it's not a lot of stability. So you decide. Okay, I'm going to actually use the block for the head. A little more firm, but both are right. All are right. All right. Okay, come here. Find your back of your heart. You know, the space of the shoulder blades resting on the block. And as soon as I come in, the first thing I do, you know, I'm holding this block behind the head. I'm going to just lift the chest and put it back down. And hope that everything falls into a happy place. Okay, if you need something for underneath your hips, the joy of yoga at home, you have everything you need. Okay, so if you have the block on the lowest height, excellent. <laughs> the highest height is possible too. Side what you like. I'm going to stretch the legs out. Good. But you can keep them bent. Okay. I'm going to just take a few moments here. Just drop in and see the props you've set up for yourself. So you have the chest is lifted. Head is supported in a way that feels it's okay. You know, if your head is dropped down and it's, I want to use the word dangling, but that's not bad too if you're okay. With the head dropping down a little, that's up to you. Okay, let's just rest in this. Maybe let your legs relax. Imagine like this is your beach chair and this your seating. Okay, 
So the next thing I'm going to do is reach the arms up to the sky and then start to take them overhead. And I'm just going slow. No, I don't care if they hit the floor. They did. <laughs> or actually, they hit this bolster package I have here, so that's kind of nice. So whatever works here, you're just finding a little bit more opening. And the arms can stay over your head for as long as you like, and you know when to come out. Drop in. Let the breath do its work here. The breath in the body. The body is receiving the support, and the breath is filling in the spaces. And then you smile a little bit, and you know from that first breath practice, <laughs> when you smile, you have the ability to take in more air. Soften around the block a little more if you have the spaces opening. Okay, I'm going to prepare to come out by bending the knees and placing the feet on the floor. I'm going to grab hold of my head and lift the chin to the chest. And the hands will maybe help to do the lifting, or maybe they won't. And just come up and quick as a little cat, move those blocks out of the way. But keep them, we're gonna put them underneath the sacrum next and come and just lie down. And so just take a moment to feel if you need something from behind your head. Put it in. Good. Okay, so blocks under the sacrum. It could be one block, and you know, you can always build a house, and if you want more stability, you can put two blocks together, any height, so many fun ways. Okay, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna have both of them on their smallest side, but one on top of the other. So the wider face is coming under the sacrum. I'm gonna show you all those options. You can do what I'm doing or one block less. It's all exactly right. It's all right. Okay. And then just pause here, allow this to be. If you like to stretch your legs out, you can do that. A little hip flexor release. Throw in a little hip walk in here for fun. Good. Okay. One more breath here. Maybe your arms want to come over your head. A little big stretch. And if you bent, straightened your legs, bend them now. Put the feet on the floor. Good. Okay. A gentle windshield wiper. If you have the block on the highest height, you're not going to windshield wipe that far over. So just kind of feel. It's rolling. From one hip to the other. Remember at the very beginning, I said, oh, let's do sit bones. So here, can you roll? If you have the space on your block, maybe you roll onto the right hip and then onto the left hip, and, or whatever part on the right side and the left side, and the other side just kind of gives a little. Let's see. Okay. All right, and we'll come to rest here, and you'll adjust the height of your blocks. So we're going to lift the legs up. This will be our legs up the wall. We can keep them bent. You drop them in, whatever works for you. If you want to open them wide, this is your playtime. <laughs> Legs in the air, playtime. So we'll just be here for about five or so breaths. Set it up however you like. I am anchoring into the block a little bit for support. So I'm gonna smile, gaze lovingly at the toes. So our next pose is Shavasana. There's no rush. And if you're someone who loves this and you haven't done this for a while, take your time. Just for play time, as I come out, I'm going to see can I get the feet to touch at the exact same time. It's going to be a challenge, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Yes, it's a challenge. So you just, oh, yeah. And then one touches first, I was interested to know. Okay. So when you're ready, you'll just... Lift yourself up, remove the blocks. Pause in the this release for a moment. Just feel, oh, I'm so grounded. 
back of your heart to your hips and where you feel like the mid back is resting. <sighs> okay. If I did say Shavasana, I feel I need to hug my knees in for a moment. Just rock side to side. I just use this shape to roll over to one side. And come up. Okay. Well, this is how I'm going to set up today. You can set up any way you like. Make yourself nice and cozy. So we have the blocks and the bolster. So I'm going to take the... I'll take both blocks. I put them just beside each other in the lowest height. Put the bolster here. I might pull this out because I want the bolster to support the back of the thighs. So let's pull it out. <coughs> you can see, so that it's almost like, oh, that feels nice already. <laughs> Go down. Okay, blankets, sweatshirts, eye pillows, sandbags. Eating pads, whatever you need. Oh, hopefully you feel nice and comfortable. And we enter into our own silence. I see use the word silence, and there might be you might be a lot going on. Sometimes the brain needs to talk. And sometimes it can be like shh. And just bring it on back to the breath and the body and to receiving the rest. Standing your body, you sit in any place you're holding.
staying in your restful state for as long as you like. We revolutionize so many parts of us. We didn't roll the wrists and ankles. You can come out, just spend some time with the wrists and the ankles. Waking them up and releasing. Continue awakening, maybe stretching your arms, your legs away from each other. You set your bolster up on the side here, then even place the soles of your feet on the bolster for a moment. Favor that. Hugging your knees in, going side to side or in and out, just moving. Massaging this, revolutionizing your low back a little bit. In this loving and soft way. Next step will be to roll to your side and rest on your side. Three, at least three breaths. Maybe more. Let's keep trying. Get ready to come up and get this one set up for a comfortable sit. Rest in the resonance of our practice. We can jump revolutionized within. And just take a moment to be. Be with that, to sit in your silence. And just take that same mudra we started with, with the thumb and the index finger, creating a circle. You come to sit, just feeling the sit bones evenly supporting you. Heart lifting and the rib cage supporting the shoulders. Jaw can relax. Palms together at your heart, bowing your chin. And inhale for all. Breathe all that goodness into your open palms, hold it there, and then offer it to yourself with this great blessing of you. And we'll send it out, blessing from our hearts to each one of us, and beyond these borders, everyone else that we love or don't know or that need this. So thank you, friends. Thank you for being here, being a part of this. I appreciate you. I honor you. I'm so happy you're back. And I'm so happy you're back, even if you've been back with me the whole time. Mwah, beautiful. So Tuesday, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. I hope that works. We'll see how it goes. And you know I'm very flexible. <laughs> so if that's not good for you, you let me know. Okay, we'll see you then. Have a great rest of this Sunday. So much love.